In this video, I'll show you how to migrate your entire Windows 10 or 11 system to a new SSD. This is a great way to speed up your system without reinstalling Windows. So let's get started. I have a Dell Optiplex mini PC. I'm going to install this new 128GB M.2 NVMe SSD on this PC. So first, let's open the cabinet. The current Windows operating system is installed on this 2.5 inch SATA drive. With this SATA drive, my PC feels sluggish, so I'm upgrading to a NVMe SSD to give it a speed boost. I'll remove the SATA drive to locate the M.2 slot on the motherboard. Now, I'll insert the NVMe SSD into this M.2 slot. Then secure it with the provided screw. Now mount the SATA drive again and close the cabinet. After installing the new SSD, you have to make sure it's recognized by the system. Open Disk Management by right-clicking the Start button and selecting Disk Management. Here you can see it's showing unknown and not initialized yet. We need to initialize it. So right click on the SSD and select initialize disk. Choose the GPD partition style and click OK. The new SSD is now online and recognized by the system. Now right click on the unallocated space on the SSD and create a new volume. Before going to the next steps, make sure your SSD has enough space to accommodate the data from your old drive. In my case, the old drive is using 67 GB and the new SSD has 119 GB of free space. So I'm good to go. I'd also suggest you uninstall unused programs, delete unnecessary files and empty the recycle bin to free up the space. This will make the migration process faster. Now let's move your Windows drive to the new SSD. We'll use a free tool called Macrium Reflect. Visit its official website. This is a paid tool, but they provide a 30 day free trial, which is more than enough for our task. So click on download free trial. Then sign up with your Google account. After signing in, the download will start automatically. Now install it on your PC. During the installation, you have to enter your email address and registration code. Just copy the registration code from your dashboard and paste it. The installation is done. Now open Macrium Reflect. You should see all your drives listed here. Select your current Windows drive. In my case, it's disk 1. Under the drive, click on clone this disk option. Then select the new SSD as the destination disk. Click next. Click finish. Check the box to allow formatting of the SSD. Now the cloning process begins. This process can take a while depending on the size of your drive. So be patient. In my case, it took 33 minutes to clone 67 GB of data. After the cloning process is finished, you need to change your boot order. So restart your PC. As your PC restarts, 
press and hold the BIOS key on your keyboard to enter into the BIOS settings. Here, go to boot sequence and set the SSD as the first boot device. Click apply and exit. If everything goes well, your PC should boot from the new SSD. You'll see your familiar Windows login screen. Just log into your PC. You can now format the old hard drive and use it as a storage device. To do so, open command prompt as administrator and follow the steps. All the data on the old hard drive has been erased and it's now ready to be used as storage. And that's it, you have successfully migrated your Windows 10 or 11 system to a new SSD. Guys, after following the steps, if your PC encounters any boot related issues, you can watch my previous video to fix it. I'll provide the link to that video in the video description. Thanks for watching.